thank you all for coming. You may be wondering why I called you all here today. At this very moment, our creative friends will be receiving a lovely update from us, as you can see here. It's brilliant. It's beautiful. Revenue will be maximized. More generate buttons will be added. Creative souls crushed. <laughs> our friends, loyal to, bound to, our creative cloud will have no choice but to comply. The cost will go up, but the crashing will be about the same. Are we worried about less expensive alternatives that may be just as good? Remove her. She's asking too many questions. Alternatives. There are no alternatives. We don't believe in choice. We are the only solution for creatives, whether they like it or not. Delete her from the cloud. <laughs> Okay, wow, that got dark fast at Adobe. Uh, I didn't didn't know it was quite like that. Um, you know what, let's just get right into this, okay? Uh, you're here because you're either using Adobe already and you know how expensive it is and it's only getting more expensive or you're brand new to graphic design and uh, video editing and you're looking for a solution. So we're kicking it off here on the Adobe page. Now I'm in Canada. If I wanted to use their creative cloud, which means all their apps, right? 20 plus apps, most of them you will not use. It's gonna cost me $78.99 a month. Now, if I go in here and I pay monthly where I can cancel anytime, $117.99 a month. If I pay annually, $78.99 a month. And if I pay for a year, or the cost of a year, it would be $863.88. Now, I don't know about you, that's pretty expensive for one year of use. And by the way, this is going up and it will only always go up. It will never go down. Now, you're gonna get access to Photoshop for editing photos. Illustrator for Vector, you're gonna have Adobe Premiere to do video editing, uh, you know, Adobe or Acrobat Pro for all your PDF stuff and InDesign to do things like page layout. Great, still really expensive. Now I could get uh, the photography plan and get Photoshop and Lightroom for 25 bucks a month. Um, I could get Premiere Pro for 30 bucks a month. Again, the cost is only going up and I have to pay every month for this. I never actually own it. No thank you. If you're saying design method, Adobe is king, how do I replace them? Well. Let me tell you, first of all, you're going to start with the Affinity Suite to replace three major products. Now, Affinity Photo is going to replace Photoshop. Affinity Designer is going to replace Adobe Illustrator. And Affinity Publisher is going to replace InDesign. We're starting at Affinity Photo. Now, this thing can do everything. It's for photographers, digital artists, uh, graphic designers, super powerful, super lightweight. Um, I'll let you go to their site and actually take a deeper dive but retouching, full raw development, tons of tools and brushes come included, unlimited layers, unlimited effects, um, selections. One file type works across Mac, PC, and iPad seamlessly. It's, a, it's amazing. And tons of stuff that it can actually do. Now, the cool thing about this is you can buy Affinity Photo on its own. Normally, I would pay $95. Right now, they have a sale going on. But I could buy it, and once I own it, I own it. There's any update, is free, there's no subscription but I could also buy their universal license. Normally for me, $225. And again, I own it forever with updates included. Now over here, I get Affinity Photo, which replaces Photoshop. I get Affinity Designer, which replaces Illustrator. And I get Affinity Publisher, which, re which replaces InDesign. So this is for photos, this is for vector work, and this is for uh, page layout. I buy it, I own it. Now, I don't wanna be completely biased. I wanna tell you on each of these what I think might be limiting for you. Now, if you use Photoshop, you're used to now all these crazy AI tools. Affinity Photo doesn't have all those AI tools. Now for someone who does certain kind of work, that might be a big deal. But someone like me, who's a hobbyist and a creative, whatever, if you're a photographer, I don't want AI doing everything for me. I like creating. It's something I enjoy. The time passes when I'm doing it, so I don't need AI doing everything. Now I do want AI to do help me with some stuff so I can keep up, but I actually enjoy the creation process. So I don't want AI doing everything. So it's not limiting for me. So another thing I want to mention too, which is awesome about Affinity Photo is you can open and save PSD files. So Photoshop files, you can open them and you can export them as PSD files. So you're not totally limited there with still working with Photoshop. Next, let's go to Affinity Designer. Now this will replace Adobe Illustrator. This is for all your vector stuff. Again, I encourage you to go to their site and take a look, but uh, tons of layers, it's super smooth, it's so fast. They have a vector workspace and a raster workspace built right in. Tons of tools, 
um, different workspaces if you're working with brands and you want to uh, do like art boards essentially, tons of those. Um, you know, obviously it's great for print and uh, uh, web. Uh, awesome thing is one file type across all platforms. So if you're using a Mac, a PC, or an iPad, it, the file just works. It, it just opens and it works flawlessly. Look at all the file types this works with. JPEG, PDF, SVG, PSD, PNG, TIFF, GIF, all these files, amazing compatibility. Again, you can buy this on its own for, for me, normally $95, or I could get it included in the license. Again, one limiting thing I'm gonna say about Affinity Designer, if you work with vectors. At this moment right now, they have no image trace tool. And I know it's a big deal and people have been asking for it. Affinity listens to their community quite a lot. So I'm, I'm convinced they're working on something. Something's gonna come along that they have an image trace tool. Now let's move on to the last one, Affinity Publisher. This will replace InDesign. So if you're doing magazines or books, this is what you wanna use. Again, super smooth, super fast. If you're used to using one of these programs, you'll know all of them because the layout is almost exactly the same. Cool thing about Affinity Publisher I wanna point out here um, is they have this workspace built right in. So if you have the uh, all three products, if I'm working in Affinity Publisher and I'm working on something in a magazine and I wanna work on a vector, I can click right here. You see where my mouse is? That'll open up the designer workspace and I can edit it right there without actually leaving Publisher. Same thing if I wanna pull in a photo and edit it, I can click on Affinity Photo. I don't have to leave the workspace, edit the photo, go right back in. It doesn't reopen programs, it just changes the workspace for me. So again, I could buy this on my own or I could get it part of the universal license. Now what's limiting about this one? There is no export to EPUB, which is a big deal for some people doing e eBooks, things like that. Again, Affinity is always listening, so I'm convinced they're gonna come out with something like that, but no export to EPUB with Affinity Publisher. Okay, next up, video editing. If you are doing any kind of video editing and you use Premiere Pro or you're used to using it, I have a solution that is not only free, but many people will tell you better than Premiere Pro. This thing is used by Hollywood for, originally for their color correction. There's two versions of it, the free version, which 95% of people use and probably well over half of all your favorite YouTube creators use DaVinci Resolve. It's free, you can get it on, let me see here, Mac, Windows and Linux. And this thing is a powerhouse. And not only is it a powerhouse, there's a million tutorials on YouTube on how to use this. You will get up and running in no time and have amazing quality using this program. So you could pay for Adobe Premiere. Me, it would cost me about 30 bucks. They're gonna up it to about 33 or 35 bucks uh, in like a month. Or I could use this free, fully functional video editor, which is fantastic. Now, again, I'm always gonna talk about downsides. Um, the only thing that I found between these two, which is a bit of a downside, is Adobe Premiere has this thing where you can pull music in and you can automatically adjust it. It's like the, the music remix tool. So say I have a two minute video, I could pull in a song that's 45 seconds, I could extend it to two minutes and Adobe Premiere will automatically, magically loop, loop it or re remix it so it is two minutes, so it's perfect to my video. As of right now, DaVinci has nothing like that for music, but, you can always put in your own music, fade it, and edit it. Uh, for saving hundreds and hundreds or thousands of dollars, I think it's worth it, and I think uh, DaVinci Resolve is gonna do something like that uh, in the future. So, if you're doing video editing, replace Adobe Premiere with DaVinci Resolve. More than half of YouTube is using it, so with some of the highest quality videos you've seen are using DaVinci Resolve, the free version. So, get DaVinci Resolve for your video editing. Get Affinity to replace Photoshop, Illustrator and InDesign, you're gonna be happy, it's gonna run fast, and you're gonna save a lot of money. If you like this video, uh, you know what those YouTubers say, if you could just tap, tap, tap that like button, I'd truly appreciate it. And if you've never seen my stuff before, welcome on over to the gang. Uh, we go meet at the park uh, once a week and we play basketball, but um, sometimes it's virtual because we're on the internet. So the games, sometimes they don't work. Uh, okay, that, yep, that, all right. Okay, thanks so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.